views, camera. Okay, so we're going to make cameras. Now, what's the difference between a camera and a, just this sort of 3D view? Well, this view right here, as you can see, is isometric. So all of these heights are all equal. It doesn't really have a true sort of perspective view to it. So in order to make perspective views, we make cameras. So let's make a couple cameras. First of all, we're going to start in the floor plan. So we're going to go to our project browser, go to your floor plans, double click on main floor plan. Zoom in. First of all, we'll start in the classroom. And we're going to go to view. And then we're going to go to this button right here. I want you to make sure that you don't click the house, but click on this little button down here and the camera. So click on camera. OK, so what you have is this little camera icon that's following your cursor around. The options bar is telling you basically some of its settings. So right now it's five foot six from the main floor. So if I were to just click there, I'm standing, you know, having the camera at about five foot six. And then I can look in a direction. Now, I don't want you to click the second point yet. A couple other little things. Do you want this perspective? Well, that's why we're doing it. So if it is perspective, then the scale is grayed out. And we'll talk about scale later. OK, so I'm actually just zooming out while this is still wanting me to pick a final point. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to pick right here. And something's going to happen when we do that. So I'll go right here. So automatically, it opens up a view. So you can see it right here. It's called 3D View 1. And we can see our furniture and our computers and so on. Now, there's other things that you can control in here. For instance, see how the border is highlighted? That's called the crop region. You can just click on those little grips and expand out what it is you want to look at. You can click off, just zoom out a bit, click back on it again. Just expand it out if you want. If you expand it out too far, it doesn't really give a limit, but it just starts to get really weird. So if you just keep expanding it out, you know, it's sort of like this highly distorted view, almost like you have a fisheye lens on there. So you can just tweak this however you want it to represent what you're looking at. You also have this thing called the far clip. I'm just going to click in white space right there, and then you'll notice right here in properties, far clip. See how it says far clip active? I'm going to turn that off. You're not really going to see too much happen. I don't know if you noticed, but in the distance, it just saw that edge of that patio. If I turned it back on again, it cuts that off because it stops the view. So I would generally take that off unless you have a really, really complex model. OK, so there's an interior shot. Now, before we're done, we really have to stress something here. Name your views. So anytime you duplicate a view, right click on the view after you've done it rename, and we're going to call this one Classroom. I'm going to go to the main floor view again, and let's go to 3D view drop down and then camera, click. Let's just put the camera down lower. So in the options bar, let's put it down at three feet. It's more of a kid's eye view. Okay, so we're standing here, we click, and I like to actually project this beyond, but for now I'm going to just go to there. That's my target. Notice though, it doesn't really show anything beyond and it's even cutting off pieces. That's the far clip. So just make sure you go into the far clip, turn that off. And now you'll see the trees beyond. It looks a little bit more natural. Okay, I can roll my roller wheel back just to zoom out and then you can expand this out. Let's just rename this. So I'm gonna right click, rename. We'll call this one exterior, okay. There's no limit on the amount of cameras that you can make. And oftentimes, you really have to make a lot of them. So if I go back to the main floor, there can be times when you don't like the camera that you made. Just make another one. So just go into camera and say, OK, I want to look from this side. OK, now I've got another 3D view. OK, so now maybe that's more of a view that we're looking for. You can keep kind of making these views and adjusting as needed. I would recommend, though, always name your views when you make them and right click and delete if you don't want them. Let's just go back to the exterior view and just click on that. Wanted to just look at one more thing. Just click on the crop region. Notice what we have here. You have eye elevation and target elevation. So you can also adjust that here. So if I wanted to look from a lower vantage point, there you go. And then if I wanted to look higher, so maybe you want to look up at 15 feet. So now the camera's going to tilt way up. 
Maybe I want to try eye elevation 3 feet, target elevation 5 feet. There you go.